Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you were able to spend some time in worship uh, wherever you go to worship for uh, church. Hope you were able to have that on Sunday and just refreshed and renewed and strengthened by the time with other believers and hearing God's word as we uh, begin another work week. Today we are finishing up 1 Peter, and we're going to focus in on 1 Peter 5, verse 7, which says this, Give all your worries and cares to God, because He cares for you. And this is just such an amazing verse. It is a comforting verse, all right? Uh, other versions say, cast all your cares or cast all your anxiety on, on Him. And, and I love that, whether it's give, whether it's cast, you know, casting, I think of like, you know, a fisherman, and he's got his pole, and he's just casting his pole, casting his line out into the water. And uh, this whole idea of just, you know, throwing and casting and giving all of our cares, all of our worries to God. And Peter tells us why, why we should do that. Because he cares about us, because he loves us, and he's working for our good, and he will work all things together for good, as Paul says in Romans chapter 8. And so we have a loving God who cares about every single thing going on in our lives, and we give our cares, we give our worries to God. Now, obviously, this has a lot of application for us here today, and and that's really what I want to spend uh, the bulk of the time focusing on in our devotion this morning. This obviously, this verse obviously can't come at a more um, appropriate time, as we uh, have an election tomorrow in uh, in our nation. And maybe you're filled with a lot of anxiety and worry right now about what's going to happen, what's going to happen with the presidential election, what's going to happen with some of our uh, state uh, issues. If you're in Nebraska, some of our state um, proposals. Um, and you've got a lot of worry, got a lot of anxiety. What does Peter say? Give them, cast them on Jesus because he cares for you. Maybe some of you are dealing with some some health issues right now and you don't know what's going to happen. And, and the doctor maybe, oh, also is maybe you've gotten a diagnosis of cancer or, or some other disease and it is really weighing you down or a loved one has gotten uh, dealing with some health issues. Peter reminds us, cast it, throw it on Jesus because he cares for you. You know, we're coming up to the time when uh, families gather a lot for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, and maybe you've got some struggles in your family right now, some relatives that don't get along, and you know you're going to be seeing them at some point over the next couple months, and it's just filling you with a lot of worry and anxiety. What does Peter say? Give it. Cast it on Jesus. Or maybe you've got a family member who's not walking with the Lord right now, and, and you're walking with Jesus, and you're following him, and maybe it's an adult child, and it's like, you're just like, I raised them following Jesus. I brought them to church, and I took them to Sunday school, and, and now they're just off doing their thing. What's going on? What's happening? Peter reminds us, give it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. Trust him. Maybe for some of us here today, we are dealing with guilt and shame or sin in our lives. We're called to repent, to confess it, knowing that when we do, we receive God's forgiveness. Cast it on Jesus because he cares for you. And we can go down all kinds of different scenarios, whether it's finances, whether it's we're grieving the loss of a loved one, uh, the death of a loved one. Um, just just so many things, you know, uh, expectations at work. Uh, I mean, just all kinds of things we can go down that could cause anxiety and worry and stress in our lives. And Peter says to just cast it, throw it on Jesus because he cares for you. Jesus loves you. God loves you so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come and to live and to die and to rise again for you. Jesus loved you so much that he was 
willing to take upon himself all of your sin, all of your ugliness, all of your wretchedness. That's how much he loves you. And if he loves you enough to stand in your place and God loves you enough to sacrifice his only son for you, he'll take care of whatever is causing you worry, anxiety, and distress. You can trust God with every single thing. There's a great hymn called What a Friend We Have in Jesus, and it's just such a powerful hymn. The words are amazing. And there's a, a, a ver lines in a verse that, that just continue to stick with me and says, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. You know, some of us here today are forfeiting peace. We're, we're just taking on ourselves needless pain. We're taking on upon ourselves. Why? Because we're not praying. We're not giving it to God. And so I really want to invite you today, maybe just spend some time listing things that are causing you anxiety and worry and stress today, whatever that is, and then take that time to pray about every single thing, cast it on the Lord and ask him to just help you surrender. Ask him to fill you with peace in the midst of all your worry and anxiety. Cast it on him in prayer, knowing that he cares for you. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, today we just come to you. and Probably for, for uh, some of us here today, maybe many of us who are watching this uh, devotion this morning, we've got worry. We've got anxiety about many different things. Lord, I pray today that all of us would just cast it. We would give it to you. We would throw it on you, Lord Jesus, knowing that you care for us. You care about every single thing going on in our lives. You love us so much. And Lord, we ask that you would give us peace in the midst of worry and anxiety. That we would cast on you and that you would in turn give us a peace that passes all human understanding. Lord, I just pray for anyone dealing with, with health issues, with the death of a loved one, with maybe some marriage or family struggles, maybe just other things. Maybe people today who are really worried and anxious about the election tomorrow. Lord, fill us all with your peace and give us your strength in the days ahead, knowing that you just love and care for us so much. Bless our day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, have a great day. Uh, again, if I can be praying for you about anything, shoot me a text or an email or stop in or call me. I would love to be praying for you. And may we just continue to, to cast all our cares, give all our cares, give all our anxiety to Jesus because he cares for us. Have a great day.